the former governor of Cross River State, Mr. Donald Duke, said he is back to the People's Democratic Party. A few years after he went off a self-imposed exile due to his relationship with the current state governor, Governor Ben Ayade. The former governor who ran for the office of the President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, in the last general elections, says, The People's Democratic Party, PDP, remains his most formidable home since joining mainstream politics in the 1990s. It feels like coming back home to where I am loved, respected, and appreciated. The People's Democratic Party is the only party in the whole of Nigeria that is all-embracing. No religious or ethical, ethnical segregation unlike some other party that was designed for the South, West or North. While I was away, I worked for the People's Democratic Party and the love my supporters showed me helped this present state government to win elections. Answering questions on why he is no longer seen as often as he used to in Calabar, Mr. Donald Duke said, I ran from Calabar because of Governor Ben Ayadi and his style of leadership. He brought a new and different approach from what we are used to as a state. The elder statesmen have no place to contribute their quota to the development of our beloved state. He runs the government between himself and his family. They have taken over our state and our resources. No good roads. Nothing is working. Calabar is deathly. The town lacks security. What about all the investors he claimed to have signed various memorandum of understanding with? Six years down the line, there's no evidence of any leadership in our state. I left office with visible projects. I built Tinapa, a multi-billion naira project. I developed Obudu Resort. Calabar was the cleanest city in the whole of Nigeria. The tourism here was top-notch. But today, everywhere is messed up. My friend, Liel Imoke, opened up the rural areas. Today, rural farmers are becoming richer than government workers because they can take their crops to the roadside and find buyers. For Governor Ayade, all his projects are on billboards, the internet, and social media. No operations on ground, but if he wishes to listen to the voice of elders, he can still do well, the former governor said. The exercise also saw the official reception of the former governor back to the party alongside other decampees. The event was graced by the former Senate President, Mr. Bukola Saraki, the former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi, the seventh governor of Akwaibom State, Mr. Udom Emmanuel, as well as some National and State House of Assembly members. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, where? Also present was um, the PDP chairman, Secondus Uche. Well, it is what it is, guys. This is um, the latest development in the politics of uh, Cross River State. The former governor of Cross River State, Donald Duke, has now returned to the party, the PDP, where he is said or prepared to do to work with uh, other people or people who are ready to take over the state. This is coming after the current governor decamped from the PDP to the APC. Guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? I said, where? That is the latest development. I said, where?
Do you think that Donald Duke, with his, you know, who is well loved across Nigeria, not just in the states, not just in the south south, not just in the southeast, but also in the southwest, he is well loved and well received every time because not just because he has uh, a wonderful uh, physique or handsome face, as it were, but you know he has worked and um, he has um, credence, he, he has evidence to back up his claims of having worked and uh, did good jobs in the state while he was governor. And this, to a very large extent, is visible to all and um, to see. Now, as it is, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, as it were? This is encouraging, and this is probably one of the good news to the people of Cross River State, if you'd ask me, because you know, one would wonder why the uh, governor was decamping to the, to the APC. What exactly were his reasons? Up until now, I'm not sure he's been able to present to the people any cogent reason as to why he decided to decamp from the PDP to the APC, except for his own um, personal gains or personal political gains, as it were, which has been the custom and practice with most politicians. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But to a very large extent, that is what it is. Be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this new development? I'm sure, to a very large extent, the people of this Democratic Party would have been uh, happy and they would have boosted their chances of probably regaining power or working to regain power in Cross River State and at the center. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold, especially as this is coming at a time when the APC claims that they would be um, in power or they would be staying in power for the next 54 years. And that, you know, would want, that, that, that would sound so absurd considering the fact that the present government of the APC under the leadership of President Muhammadu Buhari has rather taken Nigerians aback more than 10, 15, 20 years from where Nigeria used to be. It is sad and unfortunate, but that is the reality today. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Drop by at the comment section, guys. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.